Welcome to the second half of our softball doubleheader and welcome to the Big 12 on ESPN. A pair of programs that played each other for the national championship two years ago and both expecting to make a deep run towards a title again this year. Game is May over Oklahoma State, UCLA, and Tennessee already this year. Jada Coleman first pitch swinging and one of the hottest bats in the country stays that way with the leadoff single. Just such a good leadoff hitter. Boone, who was two for three and scored a couple times. Boone putting up all American numbers this year, and it continues into this Texas series. Off the end of the bat and right to second, Alyssa Washington has it one down. Hot shot to third, handled by Scott. Second for one over to first place, and Brito legs it out. But they get the lead runner, Coleman, for the second out of the inning. It's a great series. All teams that will be vying for spots at the World Series. That is laced out to left off the wall. Brito motors around to third, and Pickering is in safe for the double. That's uh, going to drop into the gap. And a base hit for Jennings, who does get something to hit, and she drives in Alyssa Brito for the 1 0 lead. Jennings just so good at going inside out. That pitch on the inner half, and she's jammed up a little bit with the outfield deep. Looked like it was something that was going to be caught off the bat, but it just dumps in front of Henry Maloney out in the outfield. Jennings, RBI number 48 on the season. Torres backhanded to third, the throw over to first for the third out. Oklahoma 30 and 0 when they score first this year. On the left field fence in batting practice, one yesterday and another one today. We'll see if she can put that power to use as Dayton grounds out one away. Looking for a spark here early tonight. Swinging and a miss, two down. Five matchup here in 20 years. Base runner. One two from May. Atwood, ground ball to Brito at third. Scoops that up. Side retired. A walk and one stranded. One complete and a 1 0. Down the line. Fair ball. Terrific snag by Scott over to first to get her. One down. The back. That's why Kinsey Hansen swung at it. One hopper to short. Martinez, two down. Eight, so one more for Coach Gasso would tire with the great Mike Candrea. Nice one, two, three inning at the bottom for Gutierrez. Washington, Martinez, and Stewart coming up. Your captain. Reaches for that. Brito's got it. Michelle Smith is liking all the ground balls tonight. Mm -hmm. Both these pitchers challenge her pitching staff. That's right. That's a base hit. Could be extras for Vivi. Headed for second. And the stand up double for Martinez and a runner in scoring position for the Longhorns. 3 2, got her. Two down. And a strikeout of Stewart. Here's Caden Henry. Henry goes opposite with it, and Boone is back to make the grab. Got it to pop up there. Martinez. One down. Here's the 2 2 from Gutierrez. Called strike three. Two down. 11 straight Big 12 championships. Rigo. Grounds out. Back to back. One, two, three innings for Gutierrez. He's really helped her out with mixing speeds. Chopped to Rigo. 
and that no way. when you're pitched to contact and you have the number one defense in the country why else would you want to strike anyone out <laughs> let them do the work yeah. Dayton snagged by Sanders two down Brito one two three inning and probably for the best. Back to Austin after this. You're saying again? <laughs> Another 2 2 pitch. Pickering golfs that one out to left. Back to the wall at the base of the fence and hauled in by Henry. The it's bat 323 fact, ribs. It's batting average and the slug, yeah. too. Opposite way, looks like they hit earlier, but this time Maloney's able to get there. Two down. There's Morgan who took the loss last night. Don't stay fair inside the back. I mean, Scott shows off her arm. A one, two, three inning. Let's see if that defense leads to some, oh. Mike White on the mic. Base knock right back up the middle, Mia Scott. Just the second time in the series, the leadoff on board. Let's see if they can get something going. Much. So critical to their success. And the swing and the miss there. Big strikeout for Nicole May. That's her third one down. Steve Singleton back there with some instruction for Alyssa. Struck her out. Two down. Tomorrow morning. Martinez, first pitch swing in opposite way. That'll be extras. Scott racing around third and heading for home. And Texas ties it up. Viviana Martinez back to back doubles. And they are rockets. We've seen them both to the left side. She is so aggressive. First pitch hunting low and away. Does a great job with that barrel to drive this where no one's going to catch it. How about Mia Scott get on your horse coming around easily to score. And now Katie Stewart a chance for the lead for the Longhorns. Rips that one into the gap. And Texas goes on top as Vivi comes in to make it 2-1. To back first pitch swinging gotta love the way that the freshman Stort's gonna go down and get this on time barrels that up and just drives it almost in the exact same spot as Vivi Martinez Texas first time with the lead in the series underclassman coming up big Martinez the sophomore Stewart the rook who over a 10-year stretch Ground ball to Jennings and a tag to Stewart right in front of her. Nine. Sanders backhand Martinez. Got it. One down. Tire 11 in a row. And that will drop over the glove of Martinez and out into left. And Oklahoma has the tying run aboard. To Boone. Got her. Rare strikeout for Riley. And Gutierrez sends her back to the dugout for just the fourth time this year. The top of the order coming around. Coleman lashes that one center. Drifting back to make the catch is Caden Henry. Side retired, 2-1, Texas. One, two pitch, Maloney. Finds an opening on the left side. And Texas will try and start it up again. A big 12 game. <laughs> Called strike three. One down. EV tunnels. 
over at first base after a leadoff single. And another strikeout for May. Got her with the change for number six on the night. Right back up the middle, snag by Jennings at short. What a play to keep it in the infield for Tiare. Series when the season started because of how good Texas looked, Oklahoma, of course. But then to see it play out right now, two to one, this is what we wanted. Well, and I think it's an opportunity for Oklahoma to be in a conference winning streak. But of course, the Sooners not likely to go down without a fight. And after the hit by pitch, Brito with the fly ball for an out to left field. Instead gets her to pop it up. Fighting with the bag at third as Mia Scott holds on. Smith moves off the plate. Hot shot to third, but right at Mia Scott for the third out of the inning. They go after Jennings and they get her. Over to right. is aboard. So significant for Texas. Ball four. Bumps a runner into scoring position. That way. Martinez drops a beauty of a ball. Just loads him up with nobody out. And I love that call because Martinez had two doubles in this game. She goes the opposite way, way back off the top of the wall. One run is in, and here comes another. Sliding in safely is Hunter. Stewart just misses a grand slam, but she drives in a pair. Let's see. Oh boy, that's close. So this is what the umpires are looking at. Does she leave second base early? Yes, she does. Wow. Wow. Let's see, is that the, that's the freshman Hunter? Yep. Ow. Leaving the base early. It happened to Oklahoma last night. Wow. And one score. Count is one and one. And Stewart skies it. Two down. Draws the walk to load him up. And it's Ashton Maloney, who singled in her last at bat to extend her hitting streak to 10 games in a row. Slow roller to second. Hodge charges over to first to end the inning. Texas leaves him loaded. It's a one-run game to the seventh we go. Last chance for Oklahoma. 2-2 Two -two, right back up the middle and coming on to make the grab is Caden Henry, the freshman with a big snag. Ground ball, Scott stays down on it. Two down. one out to center field. Henry going back, it's over her head. Bland wheeling around third. Play at the plate, the throw, and the tag, and they got her at home. As Texas celebrates, Oklahoma is asking about obstruction at the plate. Caden Henry almost catches this ball, but does a great job staying with it, a strike to get the cut, and then the, the, the throw brings her up the baseline. So this was a change to the obstruction rule this year. A defensive player cannot block any part of the base unless the ball is in their glove at home plate. You cannot block the leading edge of the plate. 
they can cross through this area to get to an errant throw. That would be an errant throw up the line that she is getting to. She was not obstructing before she received it. So I think is the key in this rule, the wording. Called out on the field, it's under review. As it stands, the game is over and Texas wins. Goosebumps, you guys. I mean, first of all, two to one ball game, the way that both of these teams played, but the ending, the ending, the execution of a hard hit ball off the wall, perfectly executed to get home. And Reese Atwood, kudos to you, girl, holding on to that ball to make a game saving catch. And how about Gutierrez? What a night in the circle for her. She was outstanding against the number one offense in the country. Great effort by both these teams. Oklahoma, you can never count them out as long as they have a strike.